Hello IG Garage family, is your car acting strange maybe running rich or constantly showing an overheating warning? If your scanner shows P0118, your engine coolant temperature sensor is sending a high voltage signal. This can cause your car to waste fuel, trigger the check engine light, and even lead to performance issues. In this video, we'll cover what P0118 means, the exact location of the ECT sensor, yeah that's very important, and how to diagnose and fix it step by step. So let's get started. What does P0118 mean? The P0118 trouble code stands for Engine Coolant Temperature Sensor Circuit High Input. Basically this means the ECU is receiving a voltage signal higher than expected from the ECT sensor, which can actually trick the system into thinking the engine is way too cold. Symptoms of P0118 include Check engine light on, cooling fan running constantly, engine running rich, which means poor fuel economy, rough idle or poor acceleration, and the temperature gauge not working properly. Common causes of P0118 are first, a faulty ECT sensor. A bad sensor can send incorrect signals. Second, broken or shorted wiring. Damaged wires can lead to high resistance and incorrect readings. Third, a corroded or loose connector. Dirty or loose connections can cause incorrect voltage readings. And finally, a faulty ECU, though that's pretty rare. If all else is fine, the ECU itself may be the issue. So, let's talk about where you'll actually find the engine coolant temperature, or ECT sensor. It's usually located near the thermostat housing, either on the cylinder head or sometimes on the intake manifold. Now, depending on your vehicle, there might actually be two ECT sensors. One that's used by the engine control unit for engine management, and another that's just for the dashboard temperature gauge. It's, uh, definitely important to know which one you're dealing with. So, the ECT sensor generally has, uh, two or three wires. There's one for the sensor signal, one for ground, and possibly a reference voltage wire. You want to look for damaged, corroded, or disconnected wiring here. And just a quick tip, if your cooling fan won't turn off, it might actually be due to a faulty ECT sensor or, you know, a wiring issue. Alright, let's walk through how to diagnose and fix that P0118 code. First, check your coolant levels and make sure the coolant is at the correct level because low coolant can cause, uh, incorrect readings. Next, inspect the thermostat. A thermostat that's stuck open or closed can really mess with your sensor readings. Then, check and clean the ECT sensor. Just disconnect the sensor and take a look for any dirt or corrosion and clean the connector pins with some electrical contact cleaner. After that, you want to test the sensor with a multimeter. Measure the resistance at different temperatures and compare those readings to the manufacturer's specs. Now don't forget to inspect the wiring and connectors. Look for broken, corroded, or shorted wires and repair or replace any damaged wiring you find. If the sensor turns out to be faulty, go ahead and install a new OEM sensor. Finally, reset the code and take the car for a test drive. Just use an OBD2 scanner to clear the P0118 code, drive the car, and check if the issue's been resolved. And yeah, that's how you fix the P0118, engine coolant temperature sensor circuit high input. If your car is running rich, overheating, or showing, uh, incorrect temperature readings, make sure to check your ECT sensor, the wiring, and the thermostat. For more expert car fixes, watch these videos next, P0007, fuel shutoff valve control circuit or open, and P0008, engine position system performance bank 1. If this video helped you, hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more car repair tips from IG Garage. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.